guys welcome back to the channel my name is Titlar and we are back in Kingdom Come Deliverance episode number 28 where we are going to try to do the preparation for the Taumberg siege or starting to so let's start by talking to the innkeeper to see if we can secure some beer I'll bring it right away. I've secured already some beer from I hope I can be of some the humble Inn service to because you. we were arrested and we get we got into Taumberg into, sorry, into Ratai. I need to bring a few kegs of beer back to Talmberg. I'm a few kegs short myself. And once I run out, my regulars will go elsewhere. Okay. And then we've got our armor repaired. Everything in our armor is 100% because we were in... Ratai. So, quest log here we've got something to do. Not this, I will take this off. Not this. We've got something more to do here, like playing with the devil. That's side quest, but we have to talk with the priest, and that's the main objective as well as. A uh, secondary one. Are you here, Godwin? Are you in sight? Vicar. Can I talk to you? What yes. do you want here, lad? God save, Monsignor. My name's Henry, and I've been sent by Sir Hanish of Lypa. Sir Hanish? Hmm. And why is he sending you? I'm to assist you in your search. Oh, I see. How considerate of him. Well, you've come at the right time. I need someone who'll go unnoticed among the locals. I'm sure Sir Hanish told you what I'm doing here. He said you're looking for heretics? Exactly. I'm seeking out the sores that inflict the body of the church. The rash of heretics. Valdensians. Dangerous heretics, one and all. What can I do to help? How can I help you, then? Excellent. Let's get right to the point, Henry. I know how to get to where the heretics congregate. And what's stopping you from going there, sir? That is to say, I know in theory. The crux of the matter is this. We caught a heretic in Gutenberg who told us of the heretics in Uschitz. Regrettably, by the time he got around to describing their meeting place, he was already raving and hardly coherent. I see. So do you know where they meet up, or don't you? Possibly. His account was confused, to say the least. I have a record somewhere here. Can you read, boy? Yes. Naturally, Father. Otherwise, Sir Hanish wouldn't have sent me. I see. It's a good thing at least the servants of the nobility are getting a suitable education. Some of their own offspring can hardly write their own names. Here's the record of the interrogation. From what I can make out, his description of the route starts at the local tavern. Once you've found something out, come back and see me. I'll do my best, Father. Will the locals trust me? Well, I'm not from Ujits exactly, so I don't know how well they'll accept me. That's good, because the last thing I need is one of these local good-for-nothings. I can't trust a single one of them. And they don't trust me either, but you're an ordinary lad with a likable face. If a bit simple-looking, you'll have a much better chance of learning their secrets. You flatter me, Monsignor. Very well, then. Do you have any suspects? Are there any suspects? Everyone is a suspect. You can be sure of that. But I'll know more after I finish the interrogations. Why do you think there are heretics here? How did you conclude there are heretics here? We caught one in Gutenberg. He confessed to everything, including meeting up with others in Ujitz a few times. And that was all he told you? By the end, all his strength had left him so he couldn't even put together a list. Uh, 
I see. I see. I'm pleased to hear it. Who are the Valdesians? Who are these Valdensians? I've never heard of them. Really? Then you've either not been paying attention in church, or the parish priest in Ratai is too idle to read out the bishop's missive to the congregation. Um... Both possibilities are equally disturbing, but I'll allow you the benefit of the doubt and assume it's the latter. But to answer your question, it's a heretical sect. I gathered that much, but what form does the heresy take? Look, boy, I don't have time right now to embark on theological disputation. Besides which, it's not something you need concern yourself with. Suffice it to say, they are heretics. Very well, Monsignor. I'll be going, Dad. I'll get working on it, sir. God be with you, my son. Okay, thank you. So I'm not going to do that, but I'm going to read the letter. That's for sure. Read. <laughs> It's red, so let's talk now to Godwin. Are you here, Godwin? You are. Good day to you. I need something from you, Father Godwin. There's something I need from you, Father Godwin. Is there, my son? How can I help? There are a lot of dead and wounded at Talmberg, and no one to make the sign of the cross on their foreheads. I'd like to help you, Henry, but I have other concerns. What's happening? I have a delegation here from the Archbishopric in Prague. They claim I have a heretic in my parish, and there's talk of building pyres. I fear if I left matters here unattended, half the villagers would be roasted before I got back. I see. Sort of. Go and ask elsewhere. There's bound to be a willing servant of God left around here somewhere. May the Lord watch over you. Hmm. Godwin will not help me. I see. Okay, so we cannot secure Godwin's help. I won't do this mission, secondary missions, for sure. So let me take this off. For now, okay, and let's ride to Tomberg. No, first let's let me grab my horse. Where is my horse? Horsey, horsey, here you are. Let's grab our horse. My horse, reddish, hotter than a burning torch. Come now. And let's get into Tomberg to talk to the master, to the quartermaster, because I've secured the beer. So let's do it. And then probably going into Sasau. Sasau will have some trouble again because we are wanted for measure, probably. Yeah, that's the monastery that was pious, probably. If I could escape prison, prison with persuasion, that would be nice. But I'm not sure that I can. Okay, so let's mark the quartermaster in the map. Here. Yeah. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hopefully he's not asleep. He's here somewhere. Where I don't know, but here somewhere. Hmm. torch out ah 
Oh, leave me oh, be. He wants I want to sleep. sleep. He wants to sleep. So let's ourselves sleep as well. Why not? Till morning. Something like 10 hours of sleep. And then we can drink some wine to get our nourishment back or a little bit of nourishment and then talk to the quartermaster and we'll have one of the things done then probably we'll have to move to Sasau probably we'll see or first let's talk to the charcoal or burn charcoal burners don't need the torch anymore. Let's put the shield. Okay, where are you? I'm sick of it. What's that? I'm sick of it. Eating something rotten. Where are you, man? I thought you need meat for this meal. Well, meat is God's own blessing, sure enough. I wouldn't turn it down. Yeah, you are. Here you are. I hope I can be of help to you, Knight. Yes. I got the ale. I've arranged some beer for you from the local tavern. You're a proper treasure, you are. I'm gonna put a word in about how well you look after us. Like your own kith and kin. Too good. God be with you. Hope is a fine thing to hold on to. Feel free to add the Lord's Prayer. No. We'll have to get meat, 200 meat. Okay, first let's go here. So let's mark it on the map. Yeah. Talk to the chuck coal burners. Okay, we have to go right on the stream. the stream or maybe not maybe left and then the first on the right yeah left and then first on the right yeah now right here yeah and keep yeah. the road talk to, to you. God save you, good knight. What can I do for you? I want to buy charcoal for Privilavits. I'd like to buy charcoal from you. Of course, Henry, anything for you. It might be more than you think. How much charcoal could you possibly need? Five bags. On a regular basis. Haven't you noticed winter is over? 
There's a new forge in Pribis Lovitz, and I need to supply it with charcoal, seeing as how I'm the bailiff. Bailiff, eh? Well, I never. Congratulations. Oh, it's not a bed of roses, but thanks. All right, but we can't let you have that amount for nothing, even if you did help us with ginger. Don't worry, I wouldn't expect that. How are you going to haul the charcoal? Hmm, I still have to sort that out. Indeed, unless you want to break your horse's back. Do that, then come back. OK. Do you have any pitch? I'm looking for some pitch for Talmberg. Already? What happened to the last lot we supplied? I don't know, and it doesn't matter. Do you have any, or don't you? I do. I had a buyer lined up, but it's been a while since he showed his face. What do you need it for? Talmberg's been taken by a horde of brigands, so we're laying siege to it. We could use some pitch. Christ, blood. I hadn't heard the news. All right, it's all yours. You gave us a hand with that ginger when we needed it, and if it's for Sir Divish, I know my duty. If you want to haul it away yourself, feel free, or I can get someone to deliver it to you. Thank you. God bless you. Goodbye. Okay. The pitch is done. So we'll need the meat. 200. Meat. So probably... The best thing to do is to go hunting now. So I'll, I'll be doing that immediately. Let's find some deer. And or boar. would be great if we could find some quite immediately going to be easy. Not going to be easy to find that food. Okay. So... We'll have to go to Sasau. But first, I want to try to find meat, man. So let's keep following this way. And keep an eye for the ears. any we have to get into the forest again I would like very much so some deer man. 200 meat is not going to be easy to find.
damn it. Really? No deers here. Okay, let's put this here and hopefully along the way we'll find some game Not even hairs I'm finding, man. That's a shame. some voices I want to avoid those bandit camps if I can to the charcoal burners and with no meat still really or I the most unlucky guy going hunting or there are very few animals here what's this woodland garden Care about that. We are here to try to find meat, man. But we are in no luck. No luck whatsoever, man. Simply no game here, man. Well, I must be blind, man. I must have passed a thousand hairs at least where's that nest here Grushin, one Grushin only, and no arrow, we lost our arrow, not ideal, we hear a dog, but no game, Unfortunately, okay, 
we've arrived pretty much at the camp. Pretty much. And no game to speak of. What are you doing, guys? Not sure. Not sure what they, they are doing. Okay, let's grab my horse. Let's get into the quartermaster yeah. and then go to Sasau. Master. I've got the pitch from the shark holders. The charcoal burners nearby have some stocks of pitch they'll let us have. That's handy. Sir Rubard will be pleased. What little we had left was running out and he was getting worried. Well, he can stop worrying. Good. I'll get someone to take care of it. Nice. God be with you. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. No. Sasso, right? Pretty much. So let's get to right to it. Let's get into Sasau and let's try to deal with the stuff there. Finding that guy that will help to buy, to build the trebuchet and do the other thing that we've got there. And maybe we have to do that secondary mission the Waldesian in order to Father Godwin to be here available for us no I don't want to, I don't care about the skirmish okay good Let's go to the infirmary. Yeah. I could get some pork meat. Maybe. That's not enough. That's not enough. Where is Conrad Kaiser staying? Do you happen to know the whereabouts of Conrad Kaiser? Kaiser. And what do you want from the old buzzard? What? That old fool? The one who spends his time poring over old books instead of at the tavern? He's all locked away at the custodian's house. That's the big place in the courtyard by the monastery. Okay. Take care now. I know where it is. So I know where it is exactly. Hello? I need help. I'll come to ask for help. Again? Such trying times we live in. God is testing us all. 
So what is it you need? Their lordships have laid siege to Talmberg, and the brigands have wounded Sir Divish and many other people. I'm to ask if the monastery might send someone to help. These are tragic times. Fortunately, I have only a little work left to do here, so nice. I'll gather my things and set off for Tonberg. Nice, Nicodemus. Thank you, Father. May God reward you a thousand times. Farewell. Nice. So, let's grab my horse. Yeah. Custodium scribe. Good day to you. Farewell. You as well. No, where's the custodium? Okay. Conrad, maybe? Enter. Huh? By the horn of Joshua, you startled me. I thought you were urban. What do you want? Hmm. Sir, Tobias Fafar, the master builder and engineer from Scalitz, sends his greetings. Fafar? Tobias Fafar? I've heard of him. He invented an interesting mining machine. Uh, what does he need? Sir, have you heard what's been going on in Talmberg? I've heard a thing or two. Is it true the castle's been taken? It has, and we want to take it back. Master Fafar has been given the task of building a trebuchet, but he's not sure he can manage it. I doubt it myself. Uh, building siege engines is an entirely different kettle of fish than mining. Damn. I'd like to rain some boulders on those heathens of Sigismund's. But that can't be done with a quill and parchment, and I can't leave here right now. Why can't you leave? Why can't you leave? That's a long story. I was a little, uh, more than a little, critical of Sigismund's efforts at Nicopolis. And it might surprise you to know, after that defeat, he didn't particularly appreciate my criticism. Then, when Sigismund abducted the king, I didn't feel too secure in Prague, so I left. Hmm, perhaps left is the wrong word. Uh, some might say I was banished. In any case, I went to Bethlehem Castle. You were being held at Bethlehem. They locked you up in Bethlehem. Bethlehem. <laughs> Not quite. It's a royal castle. Uh, they leave me to my own devices there. Frankly, this so-called banishment has been a bit of a blessing. I have peace and quiet to attend to my opus and a band of able assistants. Although I have lost quite a few of my patrons, thanks to all this unrest. What are you doing here in Sassau? And why are you here in Sassau? To be honest, I need the money. Money, sir? You don't seem like a man who lives in want. Dear me, no. I don't need it to support myself. It's to fund my opus. Uh, that's why I agreed to help with the construction of the monastery. So, you see, I can't simply take my leave. What are you working on? What is it you're working on, sir? Belly Fortis. A great book of war machines and weapons. My opus magnum. My legacy. All you have seen here are but snippets of my great work. Mark my words. One day, our whole world will be run by machines and inventions not yet dreamed of. <laughs> of course. Any day now, they'll plough our fields and milk our cattle. Oh, what did you say? Oh, uh, nothing. Just thinking aloud about uh, things for battle. Who are you working for? Who do you work for here? My contract is with the abbot himself, but I discuss the work details with Carol, the monastery's master builder. 
Could I not pay you off? Could I not just pay off the Master Builder for your services? I doubt it. Carol is only interested in the construction. As long as he has the money to pay the craftsman's wages, that's all he needs. Ah, as long as he has enough for wages, you say? Yes. What are you thinking? <laughs> Couldn't the master be persuaded somehow? Couldn't Carol be persuaded somehow? After all, the defence of the province is at stake. I realise that, but Sassar Monastery has always kept its neutrality. Uh, what's more, the abbot isn't here at present, and without his permission, Carol won't be persuaded. But I might have another idea. What do you suggest? Carol received his commission in writing. If you found it, we could, uh, well, we could copy the abbot's seal and signature on our own document. Hmm. That's a curiously interesting idea. It is. <laughs> My inventiveness has many applications. I could be back here before the abbot, so he won't even know I was gone. True. How do I get my hands on the commission? How do I get my hands on the commission? It will be somewhere in his quarters. You need to get it quickly and put it back before he notices it's gone. I suggest waiting until evening. That's when Carol usually goes to the tavern to play dice. He's fond of his dice. Maybe you can take advantage of that somehow. Right. I'll see what I can do. Indeed. You really can't come with me right away. You really can't come with me right away? Damn. I'd like to rain some boulders on those heathens of Sigismund's. I'll try to get you out of here. Hmm. I'll try and find some way of getting you out of here. Look here, I don't want any trouble. You better talk... Yeah, I will. I will. Don't worry. Conrad. You could at least dress decently before showing... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have some... Uh... Let's have them. Those scoundrels deserve... Bye. Nice. Okay, now, where the hell is... Okay. This house, you say? Jesus Christ be praised. And you? The skull is a fake? The skull is a fake. That's a side mission. Someone fixed horns on a human skull. But where would they get a human skull? And why would they do it? Maybe to frighten the workers? Raise the price? But that wouldn't help anyone. It had to be some idiot's idea of a prank. An idiot who was nearly responsible for getting a man killed. I need Conrad's I help. need some help from Master Conrad. Then go and talk to him. Conrad needs your consent. The thing is, he's already agreed, but he'd have to go to Talmberg. I can't consent to that. He signed a contract for building the monastery, and we pay him a pile of coin for every day he spends here. The conquest of Talmberg is more important? But the conquest of Talmberg is more important for the province. From what I hear, it's awfully important first and foremost for your lord. Sassau's always been neutral. Anyway, I take my orders directly from the abbot. Surely you can manage without him for a few days? Conrad would only have to leave for a few days. Surely you can manage without him for a short while? We might, if he didn't get himself killed there. I've given my answer. No. He stays here until the abbot says otherwise, and the abbot isn't here at the moment. I could compensate you for his absence. Supposing I compensated you for his brief absence, perhaps with some coin? What use would coin be to me if the monastery roof collapses? Then I'd be the one having to pay compensation. Okay. Thank you for your invaluable assistance. You're welcome. May God reward you in kind. Indeed. Take care now. And you.
Okay. Nice. We've got this. Can I read it? Just to improve my reading ability. Where is it? Here. Okay, good. Don't worry. I'll be right back. Where are you, comrade? Ah, oh, here you are. The Lord be praised. What brings you to me? The commission. I've got that commission. Not so loud, for <laughs> heaven's exactly. sake. Show it here. The very thing. Go to the Sassau scribe and say to him, the fox isn't half as clever as he thinks. Then he'll do as you ask. Is that yeah. a password? Just so. He insists on it. Don't forget to repeat it verbatim and aloud. Then all you have to do is take the new document to Carol and tell him a messenger brought it. All right. But most importantly, do it quickly and put the commission back immediately. Carol's no fool. If he can't find it, he'll put two and two together when you bring him the new document, and the game will be up. Okay. So, where the hell is the scribe? Okay, around here, so let's fast travel. Let's do it. We didn't solve our wanted level here, but okay. Hopefully we don't get into trouble. We have to fix that later. First, let's get this scribe done. Come on. Come on, game. You can do this. Good. Our Lord's tasty. Good on bread and for fries. Are you the scribe? You want to be there. Stop right where you are. Surrender. Okay, I'm surrendering. Enough! Got you, you murdering swine! Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's jail yeah. for you! Uh, I've been given a task. Just my luck. Nice! Look, I can't... Well, I thought... Nice. So, it's done. Hello, scribe. Good day to you. Good day. I have a message for you. I have a message for you. Hmm? The fox isn't half as clever as he thinks. The fox isn't half as clever as it thinks. What? The password? Um, the password about the fox? What in heaven's name are you blabbering about? Conrad Keyser sent me. Why the hell didn't you say so? <laughs> that sod. He deliberately lied to me to make me look stupid. Well, never mind. What do you want? I've got this document here, and I, I need to have a different one drawn up with um, the same signature and seal. So Conrad is still up to his old tricks. Give him my greetings. Thank you. Let's see it then. Hmm. All right. Give me an hour. And I hope I won't have problems on your account. I'll be with you. One hour. One hour, man. 
So, in the meantime... Okay, in the meantime, I can make Conrad lose from the yard more dice. Or from the woods, rain and fatty pork, chicken and bait. Yeah. We have it all. It was nice and clean that we clear our reputation here. Conrad. Dice. I hear you like to play dice. Always. Let's play. God. Okay. So the odd die. The strip die. And this one, and probably this one, no. I cannot do that. So, bring it on! Okay, let's do it. much only 300 so I'm going to choose the five and going to roll Here. again my pleasure any chance of a bite to eat a one and roll again use your head man you Please lose everything to eat. don't worry about me Okay, no pass. You go, man. You go. Hmm. Hmm. We're taking some chances. Oh, God damn you. God damn you, man. That's it. You are a lucky bastard. This will be the one. Lucky bastard, man. We'll see. I would like a beer. That's all. Lucky bastard, man. That's a lot of trees. One bear. And that's all for me. I might as well go and... Time I had a throw. Wait. Okay. Yeah, give me a minute. That's nice. And we can throw again. Use your head, man. You'll lose everything. Don't you worry. Oh, okay. That's a big, big number. Cool of that. The hell did I even start playing? Don't worry, man. Those were my last goddamn groschen. B. 
but you can get your money back. I've just realised. Without that money, you'll be short of coin for Conrad's wages, won't you? You fucker! What a shame. But I'll gladly give you your money back. What? If you allow Conrad a short sabbatical in Talmberg. That's what you had up your sleeve from the very beginning. Agreed, then? I'll give you one week. Nice. And we improved our speech. To the maximum, even. Okay. So, let's tell Conrad the good news. And we can end the episode. After that... Yeah! Let's go, let's go, let's go. As fast as possible. We've got a lot of things done, so only the meat. is the thing that I'll need to do and probably I'll do that off camera hello they're after me sweet Jesus I knew this day would come who's what? after you who man? is Carol said you can leave and leave I can't even set foot outside the door not now what happened man please calm down and tell me what's going on <sighs> They're after me! Who, man? Who's after you? Who? Who's after you? Sigismund's people, of course! Why would they be after you? Because he's never forgiven my criticisms of Nicopolis. Now, he's decided to pay me back! What am I to do? Why do you think someone's after you? What makes you think someone's after you? When I was on my way to Sassau, I saw Baron Pekar in Kostelitz. He was with Sigismund on the crusade, as was I. Now I've been told he was seen at the local tavern. And a stranger's been creeping around the gardens here late at night. My God, there are signs someone was trying to force the door. They're after me, Henry. The Lord preserve me. They want to kill me. Hmm. I'll go and check it out. Take it easy. If someone's after you, I'll see to him. I'll have a sniff around the town or lie in wait for him. I don't know. What if he sneaks past you? He won't, I promise. I'll hide in the garden and if anyone starts creeping around after dark, I'll catch him. You will, won't you? Good, good. And be sure to hide well. If he sees you, he won't come. I know they're after me. At midnight, okay. At midnight. Still got some time, right? Yeah, so I'm not going to end the episode right now. I'm going to ask around. I'm probably starting on the tavern. Yeah! Or with you, why not? Yeah. Carol. Peshar. Do you know anything about our master Peshar? Yeah, rings a bell. Is he some kind of merchant? No, no, that was a man by a similar name. Okay, God be with you. I don't know anything about. What about you? I am honored that a knight. Do you know anything about our master Pe- That nobleman that showed up yes. recently. They say he's staying at the local inn. Okay. May the Lord watch over you. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. Come 
want. Let's get into town. Yeah. I can be of some humble. No. Farewell. Are you? <clears throat> I'm honored that. Pick do you up. know anything about our master? P Certainly. Oh, they say he's come to do some trading. At least that's what Peter reckoned. Says he diced with him at the inn. Okay. Good luck to you. Are you Peter? Or are you not? God be with you. Do you know anything about our master Paycar? Of course. I've played dice with him at the inn. A decent man. Take care now. God save you. Do nothing. God be with you. I'm honored that you... Good luck to you. Nothing. I'll about bring it right people? away. My respects to you. Would there be a master pay car here, here by any chance? Are. But of course! What's your business with him? What's he here for? Why's he come here? Why so inquisitive? My master's thinking about a trade he proposed. So I'm asking around to see if he can be trusted. He's a decent man. He pays his debts and he's certainly no cheapskate. They say he trades in cloth. What does he look like? What does he look like? Oh, he's easy to spot. If I had clothes like his, I'd sell them and live happier on the takings. What kind of a man he is? What kind of man is he? Is he? People like him well enough. And as for me, well, half my profits are his doing. Okay, thanks. Thank you. May the Lord watch over you. No, where the hell is he? Inside of him? Here, just as you ordered. Pay car. Good health to you. Here. Would you be Master Pay car? Would you be Master Pay car? I would. With whom do I have the pleasure? Henry of Scalitz. And what do you want from me, Henry of Scalitz? To ask you why you've come to Sasau? To ask why you've come to Sasau. An interrogation, then, I see. On business, of course. And who is it you're doing business with? <laughs> Why don't you ask about my mistresses instead? My trade partners are my own private concern. Stay away from Master Kaiser. Stay away from Master Kieser. Kieser? Kieser? Conrad Kieser? Why should I want anything to do with him? So he doesn't need to worry about you? Worry? Good Lord, no. Why? We were friends. Okay, that will right. be everything. Right, that'll be everything. As the master instructs, may the Lord watch over you. Okay, so now we need to wait in midnight for the assassin. Right, and then we can end the episode. Should be here sneaking, right? Let me just say 
see my quest log. Watch out for the assassin at midnight. Correct. So let's put my siege close. Or oh, my siege close, my stealth close. Okay, good. And now let's skip time till close to midnight. Oof, my nourishment is bad. I forgot to drink some wine. I'm going to do that while I wait now. And we had some perks that we could use on the speech, I think. Okay, let me just drink some alcohol and a night hawk potion as well. Should be close to midnight now, right? Almost. And I'm uh, I'm uh, in the right spot, am aren't I? I think so. spot Is it midnight already? Close to it. We are very close to it. This is the garden man. Is it midnight already? It is. So where's that bastard?
heard some voices. But I don't see any assassin, man. Oh man, I'm wasting time here. Am aren't I? Am t aren't I? Halt! What are you doing here? Cry for God's sake. You'll wake the whole monastery. Silence! For God's sake, I caught you in the middle of an assassination attempt. Assassination? What are you on about? You told me to my face you were here purely for business. That Master Kieser had no reason to fear you. And then I catch you sneaking up to his door. Kieser? He's living here in the monastery? Well, yes. Right here in this house. What's your business here? It's all a terrible mistake. I have a long-standing arrangement with a custodian here, Sir Sebastian von Berg. I supply him with salt and spices. And you are... And I've come to realise how he's been cheating me repeatedly. The dispute's been running for a while and still has legs. So I wanted my money back, that's all. I've no quarrel with Conrad. I don't believe a word... I don't believe a word you say. I... well... Sorry, but I'm telling the truth. I suppose there's nothing to be done about it, unless you intend to skewer me on the spot. But if it will help you sleep better, I'll stop creeping around here at night and find some other way to deal with the custodian. Take care now. Thanks. It's done, well, man. Did you find anyone? I did. I did. And? You needn't fear. I kept watch the whole night and nothing happened. A few folk passed by, but nobody dangerous. And uh, what about Pekka? Are you saying he has no malicious intentions? None. He's just doing some trade with the custodian. That's what brought him to where you were. Well, if you're sure. But I'd still rather lie low for a while. Come to Talmberg. You'll be surrounded by a whole garrison there. Yes. Yes, I suppose that does make sense. It does. Uh, thank you, Henry. I'm in your debt. We'll meet at Talmberg. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So, let's switch to our armor again. Our beautiful armor. And then I'm, I can end the episode here. Pretty much. Well, we can put that on the horse. Okay, and after. In tomorrow's episode, we are going to talk about Feyfar about Conrad. That's done. And we'll try to get some meat, 200 meat, so... In the meantime, I will try to get that meat for the camp between episodes. And... Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Probably between episodes I'll do that Val Valdesians, this one as well. In order to try to get... the Godwin father to come into Tomberg as well. So yeah, in the next episode then, the following one, we are going to start probably at Tomberg or 
in Auschwitz, probably in Auschwitz if I can manage to secure the Valdigians and the Victor out of the priester, priest of Auschwitz and then get Father Godwin to agree to meet us there. And then we are going to complete the proper pressures for the siege and hopefully we are going into the siege for the next episode. But it's something we are going to deal in the next episode for sure because this one is done and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell and leave me some comments down below. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Titlar. I hope to see you next time for the continuation for the preparation of the siege. Bye bye and take care.